Yo, what is up, YouTube? Fury here, bringing us a brand new video. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the most overpowered weapons in the game currently after the most recent update that dropped yesterday on Fortnite Battle Royale. But before we get into today's video, if you guys do enjoy, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. If you want to get notified every time I go live or post a new video, make sure you click the little bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified for either of those. And if you get first like on any of my videos, make sure you send me a Twitter image. I'll hit you guys back with that follow. With that said, let's get right into today's video. If you guys are interested in winning some free v bucks we are currently giving away 6,000 v bucks to you guys all you got to do to enter is like the video subscribe if you aren't already and turn on those post notifications as well as follow the gleam link in the description down below there's going to be six winners a thousand v bucks each good luck to everyone now as you guys may know update 3.4 just came out for fortnite and with this came a bunch of different weapon changes and it's very important to understand how the new weapons work after this update so many weapons now have the first shot accuracy which is very important to understand now i thought this was in the game previously but i guess they just implemented it more in depth better now than it was before now before i figured it was you know first shot accuracy did you know play a role in the game but i guess it did not completely to what i thought now it is a hundred percent accurate first shot and you guys will be able to notice with the reticle because it gets a lot smaller very compact and you'll notice that it is a little bit different than it was before so many weapons have been included in this first shot accuracy but here are some of the ones that did get a change so we got the suppressed smg we got the tac smg the pistol the suppressed pistol revolver hand cannon ARs and burst ARs. These are very important to understand how they work and is definitely something that's going to be changing the game very, very, like very rapidly, honestly, because of these first shot accuracy, you're going to be able to kill people a lot quicker and you're going to be doing a bunch more damage to all your enemies. Now, with this first shot accuracy, they also, you know, they also implemented a way to, you know, fix the damage fall off with these weapons. So the farther they are, the less damage is going to do, which makes sense because if you're just sitting there at a long distance aiming right at their head, it's not going to do the same damage as it was before, where if you hit them in the head, it's going to do like 70 damage with a with a scar or whatever it may be. So at that same distance with the previous update, it would just be, you know, flat rate, flat damage throughout no matter what the range was. But now with the damage fall off and making sure that the first shot is always accurate, the damage fall off is a little bit better and there's going to be less damage being dealt um, if you hit them at a farther distance. Now, like I mentioned, there's going to be a bunch of weapons that have got this first shot accuracy, but there are three that are very important to play a role in this game. And it's very important to take advantage of these because these are the three most overpowered weapons now after this update. And it's definitely something to take into consideration when you're choosing which weapon to use. Now, before this update came out, I was a big fan of the regular AR, not the burst AR. But the regular AR does do a good amount with this new update. Obviously, hitting them in the head is going to do some good damage up close. But I definitely think the burst AR, the regular ARs, and the hand cannons are the three most important to take care, uh, you know, take note of and to use those properly. The burst AR after this update is going to be doing a bunch more damage if that first shot hits the head those other two are either going to be a little bit too high but if you aim at like i'd say the neck region and you hit them right there one bursts are going to be insanely common especially up close and you know when you're really close to the enemy now the problem with this up close first shot accuracy type thing it might be an issue when you're using and you know when you're facing someone that has an smg or you know not an smg but a shotgun or something like that i feel like a lot more close quarters combat is going to be switched up and it's not strict going to be smgs or shotguns i definitely think ars are going to be playing a role in this especially if you're just sitting back in a bush or something somebody gets real close you aim at the head real quick you're going to get a one burst basically every time so this is going to be definitely an issue to get you know get used to um shotguns may not play as big of a role as they used to in the previous updates so knowing that the burst ars are going to do a bunch more damage i definitely am going to start using the burst ars a little bit more than i used to even though before they were really good i definitely think they're going to be a lot better now as well as next is the AR so the regular AR got a buff as well so uh, technically a buff the first shot accuracy I'd assume is a buff um, but these scars are going to be doing a lot of damage up close to the head this is going to be very important when you're getting in those gunfights make sure you hit those headshots especially if you're just sitting there and you haven't shot in a bit that first shot is always going to hit the head as long as you're a little bit more accurate than you used to be it's not going to be so random so that first shot is definitely going to be very important in those gunfights now not only the burst AR and the regular AR are going to be doing a bunch of damage but the hand cannon this is something that I don't think people are going to take into consideration too much but the hand cannon is going to be absolutely filthy 
as you guys know it does take heavy bullets so this thing's going to be hitting one shot headshots all the time especially if you're uh, like one of those situations where you're sitting in a bush again that hand cannon is going to do so much damage to the head you're basically going to kill anybody that comes in front of you so I definitely recommend going on from for you know from now on to pick up the burst ARs, the regular ARs, and the hand cannons. Obviously, it's your choice between the burst and the regular AR, but I personally think the bursts are going to be doing a lot better with this first shot accuracy implemented, as well as the hand cannons. Definitely something I'm going to be picking up a little bit more, um, especially at distance. You're going to be able to hit more people with the uh, with the hand cannon. Previously, it was a little bit harder because it was a little bit more random, but the hand cannon is going to be insanely good now. I definitely think this is going to start you know I'm going to start using this a little bit more than I used to. Too. but let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of these first shot accuracy of this update this 3.4 update for fortnite but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did drop a like subscribe if you guys are new and i'll see you guys in the next video peace